He never answered my first question. The first question he did not answer. Yes, give him uh, precise questions, uh, yes, and I, uh, ha I remind him of the question, what is the approximate number of his uh, protection detail uh, on uh, uh, July 8, 1982? Were you alone? Were you alone? What's the point of this question? How, how is it relevant to the charges against the defendant? Uh, uh, Your Honor, your Honor, please, I, I, I will explain the relevance of this uh, question. Uh, why am I asking him? Uh, what is, how, in what way is it relevant to the, to the charges? Yes, because I, there are many other questions after uh, that will depend on the answer. Uh, why don't you go straight into the matter? Uh, Your Honor, I see that this question is completely relevant and I need an answer for it. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Rauf, uh, you, you, your uh, questioning of the relevance of the question is very judicious and uh, I really respect you for that. The one who represents the prosecution says uh, that this question is not in your first deposition. And your honor, know that if it's not in the deposition, the prosecution has no right to ask me because then it becomes an interrogation again. And, it, and I don't think the prosecution has the right to interrogate. Uh, uh, this is an, in the investigative part in the trial, not during the court trial. No, anyway, uh, I, I read to uh, clarify here that the prosecution has the right to ask whatever question they think relevant at any point, at any stage of the trial. They can ask uh, questions of clarifications, of details, or anything. Uh, things that have been said in the deposition or not, but the court is asking is what, what we are asking of him is to go into the into the cross-interrogation immediately. Uh, then, Your Honor, allow me to answer him so that uh, uh, he, what he wants to say is, uh, uh, was there one uh, from, uh, anyone hurt or killed from the, uh, from the detail, protective detail? Well, I know this is what he wants to. Yes, I did have a private uh, uh, detail, a private protection. Uh, please, uh, please let, let me remind the attorneys, all of them, from both parties, I will give them time and the opportunity to, uh, to uh, explain. No, this is just a procedural thing that uh, uh, the prosecution should not address the questions directly to the, uh, to the uh, defendant and then uh, they, you gave them the uh, you asked them something very important, what's the relevant, and I really thank you for uh, your objection, because what's the relevance of this question, the number of, uh, of uh, uh, protective details, this is completely irrelevant. Go ahead, go ahead. Prosecution, go ahead. Yes, uh, I had a protective detail, but the number of the private detail was very low. I, when I go to visit the town uh, out of Baghdad, uh, um, basically I, I take I take a a, a private de detail of uh, protection. Uh, this these bodyguards. Uh, uh, is a low number. I'm not telling you the number because I never say, I never disclose any secrets uh, of, of my country, about my country. If I was asked how, what the, the number of judges, I won't give it. Uh, was there a military uh, uh, detail uh, accompanying you and was there a, uh, an air cover? Uh, yes, I know, I know exactly what he, what he's going to uh, uh, the protection uh, that uh, accompanies me outside of Baghdad is uh, uh, um, besides the small group uh, that is the close protection, there is a wider uh, group that uh, 
uh, from the from the from the presidential guard that uh, uh, accompany me. Yes, they were with me when uh, we were being when we w got under fire. They informed uh, the the relevant uh, 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 relevant parties. Uh, Mr. Raouf, maybe you are surprised that Saddam Hussein uh, did not uh, follow up on any of the and uh, pick up the phone and say, I'm, I'm being shot at. And uh, no, uh, all the, the people around me did, did it. Uh, I did not uh, contact anyone and everybody knows. And I did not even ask to be kept informed, uh, not when I was shot and not even when my son was shot. Uh, uh, that the, uh, the head of security asked uh, an audience to meet me to explain to me at what point they were. So I said yes, uh, and he explained to me what happened and uh, all the details. But I really, uh, I promise you, I don't even remember if uh, this incident went uh, was against, uh, uh, let's say, a state minister, for example. I would have followed up, but not. Uh, uh, because it, it, it happened to me. Uh, so after the incident, uh, there was a military presence in Dujail and there were helicopters uh, because uh, these are uh, uh, farms and farmlands and it can't be put under control without the military.